Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, uh, you know, this guy, uh, his name is uh, uh, Mustafa Yazid. He have a book in Amazon, it's called uh, Lies About Muhammad. Uh, he's supposed an author and he claimed to be an imam, a scholar, but the fact he is nothing but a liar, as all the scholars of Islam anyway. But this guy, he's not even a scholar. He is, you know, self-proclaimed scholar. Uh, you make a book, you make 10 books, you are nothing. And I will prove it to everybody. And I will show everyone that you are nothing but a scam. I'm not insulting you. I'm just saying who you are. Because when you claim to be something you are not, you are a scam. Uh, you know, uh, uh, this guy, we offer him to debate. And he stepped down from debating me after he noticed that he is no match whatsoever to do so. Uh, you know, therefore, I was... Uh, uh, I did not hesitate to call the radio to the TV, uh, ABN, and expose him live on air, and I did. Let us see what happened exactly. Here we go. Uh, Peter Christ, uh, would you sit, sir? This is the Christian Prince with you. Hi, Christian Prince. Uh, Welcome to the program. Thank you. You know, Imam uh, Zid, we offered him before to debate, and he stepped down because he knew that he is going to be exposed big time. And I accused him to be a false and uh, a false. Uh, a clean imam, he is not an imam, he knows nothing about Islam. I will quote for you from what he said to us on the TV, showing everybody how he lied to himself first and to others. He quote for us saying that in chapter 2, verse 208, two, oh, it says, He said, and he is, look, look, look how, how smart, how genius he is. He said, the verse here saying, asking Muslims to go in peace, this is the verse speaking about those who believe enter into peace so this is an invitation for those who believe what about those who do not believe let us see what islam says about those who do not believe chapter 47 chapter of muhammad verse number 35 it says the following cry not for peace as long you have the uppermost so this man is a liar and he has no shame. And we continue. In different words in the Quran, you know, he, 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 he just mentioned to us. I, I would like to give him an opportunity to respond in one minute here after you make your third comment. So uh, I'll first of all, uh, I want uh, the viewers to go immediately to the verse that the gentleman, and I'm being polite saying that he's a gentleman, uh, where he claimed that. Well, I thought I sent. Be careful, please. Listen carefully what he will say. You can play the video again, but just because in here the. Uh, the biggest, the biggest lie ever you can hear from a Muslim. Uh, but I'm so th thankful for uh, that this religion is based on lies because it's uh, the easiest way to expose them. Listen carefully. He will say that I am inserting words in the Quran. They don't exist. Listen carefully. The verse says, and I quote. He is quoting. Remember, he is quoting. This is quotation. So he is very sure. Not just he's making a statement. It's a quotation. I quote. Which means he took from Arabic, Tadu is Silm. He took it off. This is what he said. Tadu is Silm doesn't exist. Do not feel humiliated. Do not feel sad. And God Himself put you in a higher status. There's no such. Do not feel humiliated. Do not feel sad. And God put you in a higher status. What else? Listen carefully. I'd saying that he's a gentleman, uh, where he claimed that Wala tad'u The verse says, and I quote, mm -hmm. Wala tahinu, wala tahzanu, wa antub al Do not feel humiliated, do not feel sad, and God himself put you in a higher status. There's no such a thing, do not invite to peace. That's an insertion, a blatant lie, and he's saying it to my face. That's number one. So it's a very clear lie. I'm saying it to him in his face. Guys, let us expose the liar. With no mercy this is quran explorer 100 percent islamic website all right i think m many of you know this web website right quran explorer i'm going not only to show you the verse in the front of your screen actually you, you see it already you know it's uh, it's very clear here we go i made it big so you can read it clear with me so do not fear and cry out for peace when you will be the uppermost. He said it's not exist. He said this is not exist. And you know what? Uh, as long uh, uh, 
uh, Quran Explorer have it have it recited. So we will play the recitation by the voice of Muslims, by the recording of Muslims from the website of Muslims, and everybody will see in a second who is the liar. So do not falter and cry out for peace when ye will be the uppermost and Allah is with you and he will not grudge the reward of your actions. Did you hear it? He said I'm lying. He said he is caught and he said this does not exist. It's in the front of you. So do not falter and cry out for peace when ye will be the uppermost and Allah is with you and he will not grudge the reward of your actions. So obviously he is a crying. If we change the translation, you know, if we change the translation uh, from uh, Biktal to uh, a different translation, it's going to be the same. Let us see different translation, different, uh, uh, because he might say, or Biktal is stupid, you know. Uh, he might say the ones who made Islamic ex ex a Quran Explorer, uh, they are stupid Muslims uh, too, you know, because it's very clear and they are corrupting the Quran because he said, this is an insert. This is an insert. All of this is an insert. It's not exist. Huh? You have to set up a debate if, if both of you agree on another program uh, for a full 90 minutes between the two of you. Imam Mustafa, 30 seconds to respond, please, and then I have to cut you off and go to our callers. Because our time is running short. Uh, I believe in the intelligence of the viewers. He mentioned a verse and he inserted that Islam says, do not invite to peace. And I recited to him in Arabic, his native language. And obviously his Arabic is more broken than his English. And of course he ran away and did not admit and submit to the fact that he was lying to people. Whatever he said after that is absolute nonsense. And I would not debate you. You're not a scholar and you're a vulgar person. I'm sorry to say it. So learn why now. On the air, why I refuse to debate you. Okay, let's get back. Then. Here we go. This is uh, the chapter number 47, verse number 35. Search true.com, very Islamic website, 100%. So nobody can say this is uh, our translation. Uh, this is Yusuf Ali. Uh oh, Yusuf Ali, agree with me. Be not weary and fa faint, he hearted, crying for peace when you should be the uppermost. Uh oh, he said this is inserted. He said this does not exist and he caught and he said I'm lying I'm making a big lie in his face let us see different translation maybe Yusuf Ali is a stupid liar let us see Shakir Shakir let's see what Shakir do I, I hope Shakir will help you in here if Shakir help me you are in trouble really oh Shakir agree with me and uh, be not slack so as to cry for peace and you have the upper hand he said this is inserted Shakir too you are an infidel you are against Islam like me, same as Yusuf Ali, same as Quran Explorer, same, same as Bektel, same as Mohsen Khan. All the Muslims translation agree with me. So be not weak and ask not for peace from the enemy of Islam while you are having the upper hand. Man, all, all those agreeing with me? What's wrong? Something very wrong here, honestly. And uh, I, I will tell you what is very wrong, uh, Abdul, uh, Mustafa Zaid. It is you. You are a liar and you are no scholar and you are a self proclaimed uh, claimed scholar and nobody made you a scholar. You are a joke. And here we go. You are corrupting the Quran. I'm going to name this video uh, uh, Mustafa Zaid corrupting the Quran. And he is quoting verse in the Quran, taking 50% of it off. And he is saying that the one who say those exist in the Quran is a liar. And I, I, I will see what the Muslims will do with you. I will leave you for the Muslims. You know, the Muslims, they will eat you alive. You are corrupting the Quran. I, I thought the Muslims are saying uh, the Quran is preserved. Muslims don't allow anyone to corrupt the Quran. But here we go. You are yourself. You are, you know, corrupting the Quran. Now let us see the uh, interpretation too, not only the translation. Let us go to al qurtubi Jalalain Ibn Kathir and see if they agree with me because if all the translation of Islam agree with me even Quran Explorer agree with me voice and image agree with me and Ibn Kathir Jalalain Al-Qurtubi everybody agree with me and now who are you Mr. Uh, Mustafa Yazid I think you are a liar nothing more because if all the Muslim scholars agree with me all the Muslim translation uh, I think you know the answer let's go and see we go to the official government website 
of uh, the Kingdom of Jordan, as you see in here, Ahlul Royal of Ahlul Bayt, Jordan Amman, very Islamic website owned by the King of, of, of Jordan himself. We go to chapter 47, verse number 35, and we will see, start with the Jalalain. Everybody will see in a second that I am the scholar, not you, and you are nothing but a joker. Chapter 30, uh, chapter 47, verse number 35, Tafsir al Jalalain, read him please. So do not flat, uh, uh, falter, do not be weak, and do not call for peace. Uh oh. Do you believe it? A Jalalain agreeing with me against you? Oh, a Jalalain must be inserting verses in the Quran too. And he is quoting the wrong, uh, from the wrong Quran, maybe the Quran of the Buddhas or uh, the Hindus. You see, shame on you. Shame on you. Let us continue. So a Jalalain agree with me. Let us see who else. Let us see. Uh, what about Ibn Abbas? Ibn Abbas, you know, one of the biggest, highest scholars of Islam in history. Oh, oh, look, Ibn Abbas agree with me. Man, so do not falter and do not be weakened, O believer, upon fighting the disbeliever. And they cry out for peace. Do not cry out for peace. You said this is, an, I'm inserting things. What? You know, as long as you have the uppermost, unbelievable. Mustafa Yazid, you've been smoked. People, they, you, you, you became the joke of, of, uh, of YouTube, trust me. Uh, let us see. Let us, let us change, let us go to something else. We will go to Ibn Kathir. In the front of your eyes, here we go. We choose verse number 47. And we go to verse number 35. And we will see what Ibn Kathir is saying with me. You know, Ibn Kathir is, is saying the same. I don't believe it. Look, look, look. So do not lose heart and beg for peace while you are the superior. Unbelievable. Even Ibn Kathir agree with me? Man, who's left? Nobody. Uh, you know, read with me, read with me. So do not lose heart, meaning do not be weak concerning the enemies and beg for peace, meaning compromise peace and ending the fighting between you and the disbeliever while you have, where you are, the position of power. So Muslims are very clear. They are not allowed to go in peace with us as long as they can kill us. But if they are weak for the sake of strategy, until they get stronger so they can kill us, they can say, oh, we will go in peace, okay? Let us shake hands for now. This is what they do. So until they get the power over us, then they will go and kill us. But now they have no problem to compromise with America, to compromise with Israel, to compromise with anyone. As long they have no upper hand, but if they have the upper hand, no way. And he said, I am the one is lying. Mr. Mustafa Yazid, you've been smoked and you've been exposed, whatever the word mean. And I'm going to name the video as the following. Mustafa Yazid corrupting the Quran of the Prophet Muhammad. Um, I think it's been going to be a good name. I will think about something good. But now I will let the people in here judge who is the liar, me or you. Be the judge, everyone. Post your comment. Don't forget to spread this video everywhere. Expose this liar and show them that we are the scholars, not them. And please don't forget to tell your friends about my book, The Deception of Allah, variant number one. And variant number two is going to be ready very soon in Kindle, both in Amazon.com. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And now you know why Muslims, they fear to debate me and they accept to debate everyone. And by the way, uh, he said in the, uh, in the debate, uh, uh, he don't debate me because uh, I'm, I'm vulgar, like I say bad words. I just called him a liar. I approve it. If you call somebody a liar and he is a liar, this is not a bad word. It's not an insult to call you dirty when you are dirty, sir. And you are cut-handed in tape, in video, lying with no shame. Liar. See you with more videos. Bye-bye.